<laughs> hey, what's up, people? Piz out here, and happy Valentine's Day. And for Valentine's Day, I wanted to talk to you guys about a romantic horror film, a horror film with a heart, a horror film with a love story. And there were a couple that sprang to mind, but really just one that I wanted to talk to you guys about today and recommend to you to either watch with that special someone or just watch by yourself if you're in the mood for a romantic horror film for Valentine's Day. However you plan to fly on uh, Valentine's Day, check out this movie. And the movie I'm talking about is Spring, co-directed by Justin Benson and Aaron Scott Moorhead. Uh, it was on a lot of people's favorite horror films of 2015 list. However, IMDb has it listed as a 2014 film, so I'm assuming it was probably the, a movie that got... Uh, into some festivals in 2014, but didn't get a wide release until 2015. I saw the movie on Netflix a few months ago, and I was really taken with it. Uh, it's about a young man uh, played by Lou Taylor Pucci, who I've just seen in a lot of really good stuff here lately. I think he's a really good young actor. He was in the Evil Dead remake. He was in an excellent movie called The Story of Luke, where he played an autistic man. Um, great film. That movie was also on Netflix. I don't know if it's still there or not, but go check it out. If it's there, by all means, watch it. Great movie, The Story of Luke. He plays a young ruffian who, after losing his mother, uh, gets into a scrape with the law in Los Angeles and decides to skip town. He goes to beautiful Rome, Italy, where he runs into a very beautiful, exotic woman and sparks up a uh, romance with her only to discover that she is more than meets the eye. And I'll leave it <laughs> at that. And um, the first thing that really took me with um, Spring was Lou Taylor Pucci's performance. He starts the film, he's in a very, very bad place. His mother's dying, his mother dies. He's sort of at a crossroads in his life. He's young. He's angry. He gets into trouble. I really felt for him. I really felt sort of attached to him as a character from the get-go. And a lot of that is thanks to, of course, good writing, but also really good acting from Lou Taylor Pucci. Once we get over to Rome, Italy, it is beautiful. There is some <laughs> phenomenal cinematography in this movie. Some just exquisite shots of Rome. Um, of the architecture of the countryside. Absolutely beautiful cinematography. This movie looks like a love letter to Rome, Italy. Um, the performances in the film from both Lou Taylor Pucci and from the young actress, I can't remember her name. Her name escapes me right now, who plays the love interest. I apologize. Phenomenal. Loved the performances in the movie. I really felt uh, the chemistry between the two characters, I really felt, you know, the romance <laughs> uh, there between the two of them. And there's lots of great, there's one shot in particular that's just like several minutes long. It's just the two of them walking down a street and just talking and kind of, you know, uh, filling each other out, uh, you know, learning about each other. Just two people clearly you know, digging each other's vibes, just having a really cool conversation. And the dialogue's great, the performance is great, and then you realize, hey, wait, this is like a four-minute long shot of just the two of them talking, no cuts, and it's excellent. It's absolutely excellent. Um, when I saw the movie um, <laughs> Before Sunrise, came to mind while I was watching the film. And it's kind of like Before Sunrise, um, only if the Julie Delpy character was a monster. And <laughs> uh, so we have this story of loss that turns into this romance that then turns into a horror story. And another thing I really liked about the movie is it felt really balanced, even though you've got all these different sort of tones, these different sort of moods going on in the film. One doesn't really overshadow or outweigh the other. The horror element of the movie, um, particularly in the, the, the last act where the explanation of, you know, what she is and why she is what she is, etc., etc., that felt a little 
muddled. That that felt a little less important. Uh, that felt like it just, you know, we needed some sort of explanation in the film, which I think I would have preferred it, you know, if they had less explanation or even really no explanation, even though, you know, we needed a little bit for uh, the ending of the movie. Um, but I really felt like the movie was... You know, uh, you know, I, I've seen a lot of love stories. <laughs> I've seen a lot of romantic comedies. And in this movie, you know, I felt like it really was a movie about love, a movie about romance and a movie about love and romance in the face of, you know, even when she reveals to him what she is and, and you know, the, the big explanation, he still loves her. He still wants her. And, um, you know, I mean, that, to me personally, I mean, that's, that's kind of what love is. You love someone, um, irregardless. Uh, if you love someone, you love them. And, um, you know, true love always prevails, right? <laughs> um, but anyway, um, I really enjoyed Spring, and I highly recommend it. As I said, uh, if you're spending Valentine's Day with that significant other or that, that, that special person in your life, Spring is definitely a movie to check out. Um, I think it is still on Netflix. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, I apologize. Go check Netflix if it's there. Put it in your list. Watch it. Uh, if it's not, um, go, go find it and watch it because, um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I was really quite surprised with it and quite taken. Um, like I said, great performances. I really liked the dialogue. I felt the chemistry there. I felt the love story there. The movie looked phenomenal. Beautiful cinematography. And um, just a really, uh, really good movie. A really good horror love story. A horror movie with a heart. And um, I dug that. And I think you'll dig it too. So go out. Check it out. Um, yeah. If you've seen Spring, please let me know what you think of it in the comments section below. If you've not seen Spring, go watch it and come back and tell me what you thought of it in the comments section below. As always, thanks so much for watching. I'm going to close on one of my favorite lines of dialogue in the film. Lou Taylor Pucci's character is actually staying with, uh, with a, uh, an older uh, Italian man helping him work on his farm. And uh, he's telling the man about, you know, this woman that he's met and so on and so forth and the dialogue from the older Italian man is Italian women the best peace